Hey hello guys this is Shubhabrato and welcome back to my channel Circulation. Previously we have started a series on ESP32's hidden and special features where we have showed you how to put the ESP32 in deep sleep mode and how to use the inbuilt RTC of ESP32. Today in this video we will show you the inbuilt Hall effect sensor or Hall sensor of ESP32 and it is going to be a fun so don't skip the video watch till the end let's get started Before knowing the Hall effect sensor we should know what is Hall effect Hall effect is a property of any semiconductor. The output signal of a semiconductor device can change depending upon the strength of the magnetic field. So this property is called Hall effect. And for uh, doing the test on Hall effect sensor of ESP32, we just need a ESP32, a USB cable and a magnet. And now Piyobruto will explain all the code to you and then we will upload the code to the ESP32 and check the Hall effect sensor. Before going further into the video, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, do click the subscribe button. And we are near the 1000 subscriber, so if you subscribe to my channel, uh, probably we can achieve the 1000 subscriber uh, in this year ending. So do click the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification about my video. Thank you. Hey hello everyone this is Priya Broto and I am going to explain the code for the hall sensor. So this is the code basically. At first we are taking a uh, variable to store the hall sensor reading which is val and then in the void setup we are uh, starting the serial communication at a baud rate of 115200. Then coming to the void loop. We are storing the hall read. This is the function to fetch the hall sensor value. We are doing that hall read using hall read and storing that value in the val variable which we have declared earlier. This is the integer. And then we are printing the variable here serial.println and delay for one second. So each second it will print the hall sensor reading. So what is this uh, hall read function? If you check the uh, ESP32 Arduino core where the function is described, hall read function is described, you can see the um, pin 36 here, pin 36 and pin 39 are declared as analog inputs. Uh, as you know, the hall sensor is internally connected with these two pins so whenever you use hall sensor uh, do not use these two pins for any other purposes this is a vital thing do not use these 36 and 39 pin for any other purposes while working with the hall sensor and the analog bit capture width here is 12 it means 12 bit adc you can set it to 11 10 and 9 but we are taking the uh, default default it is highest 12 bit and then uh, return hall sensor read this hall sensor read function actually is uh, esp idf function so underneath this arduino esp32 core the esp idf function is working hall sensor read now let's upload this code and see how it works The program is uploaded. Now I will uh, hold the magnet near the ESP32 and this is the south pole. First I am holding the south pole of the magnet to the ESP32 and you can see the reading is in negative and if I hold this north pole to the ESP32 you can see the reading is positive and if I get closer to the ESP32 with the magnet the reading value is increasing and if i go away from the sp32 with the magnet the value is decreasing so it can also measure the intensity of the magnetic field or strength of the magnetic field 
As you have seen the working of Hall FF sensor of ESP32, there are few things to remember. You cannot connect any peripheral devices to GPIO 36 and 39 while working with the Hall FF sensor because it is connected internally to the Hall FF sensor. And in some module, the 36 and 39 pin is uh, written as VP and VMAN. So uh, please you remember that you cannot connect the 36 and 39 pin with uh, any other peripheral while working with the Hall effect sensor. And uh, by using this Hall effect sensor, you can measure angular velocity like uh, speed of a motor or use it as a door opening sensor or use it you can use it for proximity detection so <clears throat> let me know in the comment that uh, in which way you are going to be use this uh, hall effect sensor i hope you have learned something about hall effect sensor of esp32 if so then make sure you hit the like button and share this video with your friends and technical community and if you have any query comment down below and if you are not subscribed to our channel yet, then subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. And if you want to help me out, then you can buy me a coffee. Link is given in the description. And the most important thing, be creative.